We consider our documentation an experience, just like everything else we do at Paystack. The issues with the old documentation was, uh, the first one was discoverability. It was intuitive to find anything without hitting the search bar. So what that resulted into was a lot of support in round. The font was all over the place. The blue was not the right blue. They were just like tiny things here and there on the old documentation. The KPI was a developer should not come to this page and have to reach out to the Paystack support team because something is not clear. When you get on our documentation, you should be able to do whatever you need to do as quickly as possible. The initial thing to do was to work with the TPS team, which is the technical product specialist. Those are the people that use the documentation every day. After sitting down with the TPS team and getting like a sense of what the technical problem were, we sat down to do low fidelity wireframes, pure black and white, zero detailing, just straight to the point. Um, while also doing the initial brand background work, we started working on navigation, because navigation was a major problem on the documentation. So we started trying to fix navigation. Then we started doing the high fidelity designs. Um, at this point, we had broken down the documentation into a couple of pages. We had like four or five layouts that I wanted to use to solve the unique problem. We designed the individual modules we needed to bring all these things to life in Figma, and there was no time to like piece it together. The work went beyond just designing the interface. We spent weeks on weeks reviewing the existing copy. It wasn't like writing an email, hello, put this API there. It was that, but then just knowing that the person on the other side does not have the privilege of asking follow-up questions. So you had to like make the presentation um, such that the person gets everything he needs. We ensured things are properly categorized. We ensured um, searching for things became easier. But to be honest, we had a lot of iteration. We have a separate page in Figma for like all the discarded things. It's a lot of to there. Now we have fixed the design. Now how do we build it? What frameworks do we use? What's the easiest way? Um, we use Gatsby because Gatsby was easy. And like I said, it was one of the things that we wanted was something that was easy to maintain. Um, something that anybody can update. Um, so Gatsby provided that flexibility that we needed. We promise we are not going to abandon the documentation for as long as we did. We are going to be adding dark mode um, very soon. We are going to be adding more code snippets in different languages. So currently we have just call, we have JavaScript and uh, Node and we have PHP. So we are going to be adding Java, Python, Ruby on Rails. So at every point in time, the documentation should reflect where the company is. Uh, in terms of like growth, in terms of scale, in terms of brand. Essentially, it's a means to the end that all of Paystack product is, is, is gearing towards, which is providing developers with the tools to build something special. <laughs>